Hello and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Today I'm rescuing the guys that are stranded in the last video for 0 0.16. I have made. I'm just using the same rocket. Just because it works. I know it works, so. I'm just going to use that. So. I'm not recording live this time. As in mic because I wanted to squeeze everything in one video because it took us about oh, 50 minutes and I can't really fit all that in one video so I'm trying to squeeze everything into this one video because it's sort of two missions in one so this is me just circleizing the circleizing the uh, Orbit when I get to the per air uh, uh, lapses. So I'll just turn that warp down a bit so I don't overlap it. So I found with these new parts and things, you need to put the engine on a little bit just to move it, which is a bit of a pain because it starts moving your orbit as soon as you put a little bit of thrust on. But it works. It works, so it's fine. Okay, so you'll see a bit jumping now and again to different times, but that's because, as I said before, I'm trying to squeeze it all in one. So. Oh yeah, except this time, I, I'm using the same rocket, but this time I've put one of the new parachutes on and three of the old ones, which hopefully should work. I haven't tested it yet, but hopefully. I think it was three, was it three? It was either three or four I put on. So just getting this out to the moon, as the moon was rising, I started to burn on the horizontal line that feels gone so use this just turning it a little bit keep it on the straight line there we go okay and burn turn that down a bit because it overheats a lot so oh I'm coming in now slow down slow down There we go. Get this to around 50, 90 or something. 1067, that'll do. Okay. Now we're here the moon, ready to do the retro burn. To get this down next to the other lander. That'll do. About there. Right, so I've noticed that the line isn't on properly, so I'm turning it like that there. And there we go. I've got a feeling that I'm going to miss this a bit. Just because I didn't leave enough room for the line go down and there is the archery I think that little flashing okay so try and get as close as I can so they don't use all the fuel trying to get across to this ship to this rocket okay I should I'm nearly right on top of the I'll just start doing the retro burn now just to slow down my descent rate so I'm not coming speeding up to the surface and because it's on the dark side I'm going to be blind on this one because it's not sea level it, it's going to be hard to do a landing so I'm going to use the stage I'm using now and eject that when I think I'm close to the floor so I'm where the explosion is at and sort of reference how close I am to the floor 
Just put the landing gear down, ready. Another thing I forgot to mention about this update, you can turn debris off automatic, but I'll talk to you because you can set the max debris to zero. So that's cool, but I haven't done that yet. I think I might. Because, well, don't want millions of things orbiting Kerbin. Okay, slowly. I'm relatively close, I think that's close enough. I don't want to go messing things up by trying to move a bit closer. <laughs> so as I said I'm bef before, I'm just totally blind. I can't see where the ground is because it's just black. It's like looking into a black hole. Just following this Ooh, guide. I'm pretty close to the floor now, I think. Okay, I think I'll check this. Right, let's see how close we are. Oh crap, we're pretty close. And we're coming down a bit fast. And oh. Oh. Thank God for them industrial landing legs. <laughs> so this is first of the Kerbals. Running towards this one. It's got plenty of fuel, so I'm gonna. Oh, there's the debris. I'm gonna jump over using the RCS. Otherwise, it'd take ages to run across to there. <laughs> oh, oops! Ragdoll. <laughs> I think the ragdoll is really cool. But I wasn't meant to do it there. That was totally an accident. It's a nice shot. This of the like sun glare just peering over the horizon of. Mon, there. Well, this guy's that guy boarded, and this guy is now going to there. Gonna unfortunately have to leave one guy behind, because someone had to pilot here. Couldn't leave three kerbals behind and pilot itself. So yeah. But we will send another rocket for him. Don't you worry. This is probably his cost. If this was real, they would probably not do it because of the amount of money that would cost them to do two more trips just to rescue three kills. Okay. Okay, so Kerbin is nearly directly above, so if I, I'm hoping that if I just fire straight up, it will work. Fine. I'm trying to track this. And the landing here. So if I head just straight up, yeah, get to two million meters. And that should be far enough away to end a curb in orbit. Hopefully I'll have enough fuel here. I haven't really tested this yet until this flight that I did there. Come on. Grow apoapsis, apoapsis. I don't. I really don't know how to pronounce that properly. Ap apoapsis. Is it apoapsis? 
and cut. Right, so till I get here, and retro burn, so the periapsis goes on a crash course. Now I haven't got enough fuel to go into orbit then descend, so I'm just going to straight away go into a crash course. Hopefully that'll work. There we go. Um, where will I land? Well, it's hard to tell because of the movement of Kevin. Oh, we'll find out eventually. <laughs> okay, so I've figured out a spot on the on Kerbin I burned a little just to get into the sea and it's just sort of in the middle of the sea off the coast of the command center so that's cool eventually I will do precise landings and things over there but you know didn't have enough fuel for that. <laughs> so here they go, ready to splash down. The parachutes worked, which is amazing, because now I can use SES. And there we go, they're down. Two of the Kerbals out of the three that were the first on the moon have successfully made it home. Well done, guys. Well done. I'm just looking at the stats here. 15 Gs would probably have been dead, but you know. Oh well. Okay, so this is the second guy going home, which is Steve Kerbal, Kerman, even. And this is the second mission that came to rescue him. So he will go again doing the same thing. And he will go again splashing down. So all the three heroes that were the first on one have successfully made it back. It's a shame it wasn't Bill, Jeb and Bob. I do like them guys. And this is just going to be a constant reminder that they were on Moon. So yeah. Landmark. Mm -hmm.